Hello everybody, it's Pineapple here, back with another video. Uh, and so today I thought we'd take a look at what is, in my opinion, one of, if not the single most successful decks of all time, just due to its long uh, competitive success. Uh, and that is, of course, Sky Striker. Uh, at this point, the deck is probably radicalized due to the point where you either want Ray executed or have been playing this deck for about four years straight and would sooner die than stop playing it. Uh, so for a long time, the one problem that Striker has uh, not been uh, great at is OTKs. Uh, it's been able to facilitate a grind game, uh, outing boards, playing going second, uh, just everything except OTK. Um, but that's no longer an issue because for some reason Konami has given us linkage about a month and a half after it came out in the TCG uh, in Magnificent Mavens, um, which is uh, a little odd because it took them nine months to give us uh, the glory that is the Therians. But uh, uh, Konami, uh, when they decide to print things, issues aside, let's talk about Sky Striker. Uh, so let's get into the card by card. First up, we have the Hand Traps. We're on Triple Veiler, Triple Maxi, and Triple Ash. Uh, Maxi's great. All your cards don't have once per turn, so uh, drawing multiples of them is fantastic. Uh, Veiler gives you Selene access uh, for access OTK if you need it. And uh, Ash Blossom is Ash Blossom. It's crazy. Um, we then have Triple Ray and one Rose. Uh, I've had Rose come up maybe once, uh, and the time that it did, uh, I searched it. So you can play two if you really want and you feel that you need that extra consistency, but that's on you. Um, we then have one of the brand new Surgical Striker Hemp. Uh, this is a Kaiju. Uh, that's all you really need to know. If you control Sky Striker Ace, it's a Kaiju. Um, towers type monsters are sometimes hard to get around, um, so Kaiju them. It's a Surgical Kaiju. Uh, that's all you really need to know. For power spells, we're on Double Raigeki, uh, One Duster, uh, Triple Minecon. I really like Minecon. It fills that same kind of hole that Talents does, but it doesn't have a once per turn or an activation requirement. Uh, although it doesn't let you attack with the monster that you take. Uh, most of the time you're just linking away for Zeke anyways, so who really cares? But uh, I find Minecon to be immensely satisfying because here in the TCG we have it limited to one, although you can just play Change of Heart and Braincon to make up for that. Uh, moving on, we have one copy of Rhoda because it's Rhoda and adding Ray and dumping a spell is insane. We then have one copy of Jar uh, Pot of Avarice. Uh, because sometimes you need to recycle your uh, extra deck monsters uh, so that you can continue grinding. We then have double engage. I don't need to explain. It's engage. Uh, one afterburners to clear things. Uh, triple lightning storm because it's the best going second card in the game. Uh, triple kaiser because sometimes people make you go first because they are also on blind second decks. Uh, and kaiser just locks the game down and ends the game because it's kaiser. It's dumb. It's stupid. Uh, please ban this card. Uh, one copy, the one copy of Hornet Drones, Triple Widow Anchor, a one Shark Cannon, one Droplet, and Triple Linkage. Uh, Linkage is crazy, it enables uh, OTKs, um, stupid, stupid card, it basically means the deck has no weaknesses until the Bestials get here. Um, we then have Double Kagari in the extra, unfortunately we can't play three, thank god we can't or this deck would be everywhere. Uh, triple Shizuku, Triple Hayate, uh, one Kaida, Double Zeke, uh, one each of the Light and Dark Charmers, one Selene, and one access code. So, with that, let's hop into the games uh, for the deck that simply refuses to die. So, our first match is up against everyone's favorite toss matchup, Salad. They'll start with Mining, they'll pitch uh, Roar, and they'll grab Lady Debug because they're greedy. Uh, here we'll Valor because we have to read that they don't have Gazelle because they're being greedy. Um, they'll link away for, um, for Baylinks, uh, and they'll grab Sanctuary and trigger Exceed. Um, from here... They're just going to uh, make Heat Soul, because uh, I don't know why they didn't think Bakusko is a better idea, but that's on them. Um, they'll relink into Bale, trigger uh, Roar, and then link off for Splash Mage. Bring back this uh, copy of Lady Debug, make Heat Soul, draw a card, uh, and then set to back row and pass. From here, we're gonna just going to drop this Rageki to try to force the Roar, roar and they will bite. Um, we'll then Lightning Storm and hit their back row, because we are a cool, cool bastard. Uh, they'll flip, uh, Rage, uh, and draw a card. We'll anchor so that, because we don't want them to continue to plus. Uh, they'll clear, uh, just about everything, but protect with Bale, we'll normal Rose, and then link off for Hayate. Um, I kind of made a mistake here. I forgot that Rose can't, uh, attack directly, because I'm a bit of a dumbass. Uh, it was a bit of a misclick. I'm a dumbass. Don't, don't, don't think too hard about it. Um. We'll make Kagari add back our end gauge, uh, but it doesn't even matter. Um, although we could have seeked to them earlier, but whatever. We'll drop Kaiser on them, and this is going to be the end of the game. We'll grab Shark Cannon because we don't want to let them have anything in the extra, and we'll draw a copy of Hornet Drones because end gauge is a fair card. We'll Zeke banish their Heat Soul and set Shark Cannon 
but first we'll make Shizuku and then pass back to our opponent. Uh, in the end phase we'll add linkage in order to set up an OTK and pass back. Uh, from here they're going to attempt to play, they drew mining and they'll pitch ash and they'll grab themselves a copy of Foxy. They'll summon Foxy and continue to pray they find more gas and they'll find off the top copy of spinning even though they could have just grabbed Gazelle and immediately dumped it. Um, but that's their business. They can't get to Spinny though because of Kaiser because it's a dumb card. They'll get back their Heat Soul and this is going to be the end of the game. We'll draw an another copy of Shark Cannon because at this point I was still playing two, just tinkering around with builds. Uh, we'll Kagari add back. They'll attempt to draw a card. We'll let that resolve. Uh, we'll go uh, for Widow Anchor in order to make access. Uh, we'll take their Heat Soul, make access, etc, etc, uh, and then punch them for game. Boom which just demonstrates how stupid of a card Widow Anchor is. As well as Engage, of course. So, for our next replay, we have drawn pretty much as well as you can, but we've been forced to go first. And you'll see why. Uh, we'll make uh, Shizuku, they'll uh, uh, unfortunately Valor it, and we'll pass back. Unfortunately, it's a mirror! Uh, they'll pop our Shizuku, we'll trigger Ray. Okay. Uh, they'll go Rose here, they'll get to trigger the Rose, which is so funny, they'll make a Kagari, uh, which is good for us, because they did not make it with Ray. Um, they'll grab back this copy of Maneuver, they'll target our Ray, and we'll just chain Ray and grab Shizuku here. Poor use of Kagari. Uh, though Kagari will use Widow Anchor to make it smaller, and then uh, they'll pass back to us. In the end phase, we'll use Shizuku, uh, but they have Ogre. Unfortunately, we do still get to grab Engage here, which is very good. They'll trigger Rose here, here, but what they don't realize is we are on Minecon. We'll drop a turn, and that's Kaiser, which doesn't do anything in the mirror. Uh, we'll drop it anyways, just in case. We'll link away and make Hayate. Uh, from here, we'll go Hayate to Punch. Uh, we'll dump this our own copy of Rose, uh, and then fire this copy of Engage to find Shark Cannon, because we don't want them to be getting back anything. We'll make Kagari. Uh, we'll grab back our Engage. And then we're going to proceed to fire engage to grab ourselves this copy of Widow and draw. Unfortunately, actually, I miscounted because uh, we don't get to draw. We'll then set two and pass back to our opponent. In the end phase, end phase, we'll grab linkage in order to end the game next turn, hopefully. And since we have uh, Valor, we pretty much will. They'll fire um, this copy of Widow Anchor and grab their own Kagari. Uh, they'll use Kagari to add back linkage, and we will proceed to Widow Anchor because we do not want them to add back linkage. They'll make Kayate. Uh, we'll Valor the Hayate at the end of main so that they cannot uh, punch us and dump Engage. They'll fire Jar, and thank god we have this Shark Cannon so that none of that is resolving. Um, we'll Shark Cannon this copy of Kagari, and we'll trigger the Kagari in order to add back an Engage. From here, this is going to be the end of the game. Uh, they'll walk over our Shizuku, but we don't really care. We get to trigger Ray here, uh, and then they pass back. They'll add this copy of Engage, but we literally do not care. It does nothing because they're not even going to get a next turn. We drew another copy of Raigeki, because uh, why not? Uh, we'll grab Zeke, uh, we'll banish their copy of Shizuku, and from here we're going to fire Engage for another copy of Linkage and draw Minecon. Um, we'll send uh, the copy of Kaiser in order to increase Zeke's attack, punch, fire Linkage, send Zeke, uh, grab Hayate, punch for tw another 25, uh, we'll dump another copy of Engage, fire another Linkage, make uh, Kagari, uh, we'll use Kagari to add back uh, this copy of Engage, because, you know, why not? Uh, and then punch them for game. So, it's the final match, and we're playing against the bees! They'll uh, attempt a special, and we'll fire this copy of Maxi, we'll draw Duster, and they'll pass back to us. Fortunately, we've drawn pretty much everything we could ask for, except we can't kill them, uh, because we can't get all their guys off the field. Um, so, we'll make Zeke. Uh, clear their guy, and then proceed to punch them for a solid 15. Um, uh, in main 2, we'll make Shiz, uh, and pass back. Uh, we could have made Hayate, but uh, it doesn't make too much of a difference here. Well, they're on 2 cards. Alright, uh, don't I'm in this copy of Alvarez, uh grab Pin, uh, grab Scale Bomber, and then burn us for 200, because, it, you know, why not? They'll make Armor Horn here, link off for this copy of Insector, or er, bring back Armor Horn, and, and then they will shuffle back and summon up this copy of, of Heavy Bee Trooper. Uh, they'll, we'll grab back Ray, uh, and then they will link off for Invincible Atlas, 
which is a Towers. Unfortunately for them, we do play the out. In the end phase, we'll grab Shizuku, we'll add another copy of Engage. Uh, and from here, this is going to be the end of the game. Uh, we'll find off the top of Widow Anchor, which is just nice. We'll negate their guy. A fire Engage, grab the grab a Kaiju, draw and Kaiju them, and link away for Hayate. We'll fire another copy of Engage. I'll uh, add another Widow Anchor and find Raigeki, <laughs> which is why Engage is crazy. They'll bring back their Heavy Bee Trooper. Uh, it doesn't really matter to us. We'll normal Ray, make Zeke, and this is going to be the end of the game. Uh, we'll banish their guy, and they will scoop it up. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. It's Striker. It won't die. Um, I can't believe we got these cards as early as we did. Um, just a reminder that uh, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, when we hit 100 subs, I am going to eat a copy of Max C uh, for everyone. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.